Jin Hozo, Shoujere Annie, Dawson City Hu Jin, Zher DJ. Dave HS, Lena Prosi, Hu Ga DJ. Percy HM, Mabel Henry with Thu DJ. As my grandma Mabel told me, my grandpa Percy was born between Blackstone and Ogilvy sometime between May 24th and the 27th of 1927. My grandpa moved to Moosehead before he was school age and he attended school from ages 6 to 8. My grandpa learned from his parents, Joe and Annie Henry, how to hunt, trap, and fish, and how to survive off the land. He learned more in the bush than he did in the city. For eight years, he was chief of the Chondok Wichin, and he started working with language. He still does at the age of 93. My grandpa is one of the last fluent Han speakers. The way I grew up is very different than the way my grandpa did. There are some similarities, though. I, too, grew up hunting, fishing, and berry picking, but I grew up with the assurance that if we didn't get a moose or enough fish or berries, we wouldn't go hungry. My grandpa knew that the land was their primary food source. My grandpa wasn't rich with money, but he was rich with knowledge, which is what kept him and his family alive in the bush. My grandpa told me that he doesn't take credit for anything he knows because he was taught by his elders. We are all so fortunate to have grown up and live in the Yukon where we have such a deep connection to the land. We have the opportunity to feed our families with food that we harvest ourselves. Having that connection to the land is something many people don't have. Before moving to Alberta in 2018, I never understood the significance of our way of life. But when I moved, I found myself missing home. Life in the city was too easy. Everything was right at your fingertips. I missed the work that went into living up north, like hauling wood, hunting, and harvesting. I missed the work because there was a feeling of accomplishment that came along with it. Everything was so much better because we worked for it. When I moved back to the Yukon, I had a moment of realization. I realized the depth and beauty of my culture. Now I try to take every opportunity to learn about it because it's so powerful and I want to keep it alive. It's very important to me as a young person to stay connected to my culture, which is why we should be out learning from our elders so we can pass on our knowledge and traditions to future generations. Masicho. Today, 